McDonald. Indonesia, Pakistan and now Dublin. The world has gone mad. The world is in turmoil. The nurses are marching here on the dole. They're going to take over Ireland and declare nursey law. You all have to go to bed at six o'clock and eat horrible meals. The GPO, uh, the scene of a great revolution in 1916. The nurses are marching up here now, they're protesting today. Uh, but they're not stopping outside the GPO, no, no. They're stopping outside Ann Summers' dirty sex shop. <laughs> dirty days, they're going to dress up in nursery years. But they're filthy. I said, once more to achieve some ladies bright, the heart of Tars rolls. Your victory in Croke Park today, its own sweet story tells. Up me. Uh, God, who needs the circus? And what do you think of Brian Cowan, the Minister for Health? <laughs> right. Oh, sorry. Well, the share of that's <laughs> the mill. Thanks very much. That's what I want to know. People say the real victim in all this is Brian Cowan, the Minister for Health. People say that he's a bit of an ignorant bully. Could you think of another word to describe him? He had many dogs in the Cayman Islands. Now, I tell you why now, because he was savaged by a Shih Tzu when he was a young man. There's a slot of health up there on the left. It should be brought up, chained to the wall, and f***ing shot. Hold me alone, be you are okay. Hello, I'm standing here by the banks of the Boyne, the scene of a big battle in 1690 between the Protestant King Billy and the good Catholic King James. Now, Bertie Hare in our current Taoiseach, uh, has said that he intends to purchase this piece of land so that we can reenact the battle every July 12th. I am King James. Go on back to Britain, you big British bastard. Oh no, you're so tough British. Go on, go on, you big Protestant bastard. Go on. No way. Us there says no. Go on back to Britain, you hear ya. <laughs>